The Tech Today podcast is brought to you by SSNC Technologies, a global market leading provider of cloud based investment accounting software services in fund administration. SSNC's AI powered investment operations and accounting platform, Singularity, provides real time, multi basis accounting across a wide range of asset types with unparalleled automation and operational efficiency. Singularity is offered on a software as a service basis or via smart source. SSNC's intelligent middle and back office accounting service. For more information, visit ssctech.com forward slash singularity. Welcome to the Tech Today podcast powered by CEO Raider. It's your host, John Maeda. The Federal Reserve disclosed their corporate bond purchases today. Actually, technically, it was yesterday. 86 corporate issuers. I'm going to read you the list of the issuers. There were multiple securities for each issuer, so... Uh, there were more than 86 actual securities that they purchased. So across the spectrum in terms of ratings, as of those securities purchased through June 16th, 48.1% were AAA, AA, or single A rated. 48.3% were triple B rated. And 3.6% were double B, i.e. high yield bonds. And at, what do we set it for here, 5 a.m., East Coast time. If you visit Tech Today, you can see more detail on the issuers that I'm about to read to you. So in that detail, we include essentially the full disclosure from the Fed. We link to it so you could find, uh, in terms of issuer detail, which sectors, uh, individual QSIPs for each security, coupons, maturity dates, par values, amortized cost, and additional information. And then later this week, you're going to see from us another piece around the Fed's actions over the past several months. And, and our conclusion is that the risk of inflation is low, at least in the near term. And that assumes that the Fed does not participate in additional monetary stimulus action. I do expect them to participate in additional monetary stimulus action. I think it'll come late summer, early fall before the election. So end of, end of the summer, Labor Day-ish, when people are back from vacation. The Trump administration will want that announcement to have full attention to benefit the last leg of the election push. But in terms of the corporate issuers, here are the names. 3M, AbV Inc., Activision Blizzard, Anthem, Aris Capital Management, AT&T, AutoZone, Avangrid, Becton Dickinson, Berkshire Hathaway Energy, Boeing, BP Capital Markets, Burlington North Santa Fe, Campbell Soup, Cargill, Caterpillar, the financial services arm, Chevron, CME Group, Coca-Cola, Comcast, Constellation Brands, CVS Health, Delmarva Power and Light, Diamondback Energy, Dollar General, DTE Electric, Duke Energy, DuPont, Eastman Chemical, Edison International, Energy Transfer Operating, Eversource Energy, ExxonMobil, FedEx, First Energy Corp., Fiserv, the fintech company, Florida Power and Light, Ford Motor Company, Ford Motor Credit, Fox Corp, GE, so this is the Fed voicing support for GE rather than let the capital markets run their course. This is the Fed stepping in, socialism at its finest. General Mills, General Motors, as you can tell, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Fed. You know, buying uh, government agency securities, participating in, in that market, that's one thing. Playing with corporate ETFs, corporate securities through ETF funds, or what I'm reading to here, participating in individual corporate issues. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. And I think that what we may see in this next stimulus is going to be equity ETFs. I, I, I think that may be part of the package. Continuing, uh, General Mills, General Motors, the, the financial corporation of General Motors, Georgia Power, Gilead Sciences, Health Peak Properties, Home Depot, Honeywell, HP Enterprise, Humana, Hyatt Hotels, IBM Corp, IBM Credit, Intercontinental Exchange, uh, also known as the ICE. Jeff Sprecker, who's founder and CEO of the ICE, his wife is uh, a senator in Georgia. Lowe's Companies, Marathon Petroleum, Marriott International, so the support for the hotels. MasterCard, McDonald's, Medtronic, Microsoft, Nike, Nucor. 
Packer Financial, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, P-A-C-C-A-R. What's interesting with Microsoft, as a side note, is they certainly don't need to uh, raise capital. They throw off more cash flow than some small countries. But when you have the Fed saying, hey, we'll buy individual issues, you have unnatural acts like this. PayPal, PepsiCo, Pfizer, Philip Morris, Philip 66, Philip 66 Partners, the LP, Procter & Gamble, Prologis, Realty Income Corp., Republic Services, Sabine, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, S-A-B-I-N-E, Pass, Liquefaction, Southwest Airlines, Cisco Corporation, S-Y-S-C-O, that's Cisco, Toyota Motor Credit Corporation, UPS, United Health Group, Virginia Electric and Power, Visa, VMware, Walgreens Boots Alliance, Walmart, and Williams Company. So those are the 86 issuers of credit in which the Fed has executed a purchase or had trades outstanding as of the time of the uh, disclosure. And if you read our Tech Today article on Monday morning, it's published at 5 a.m., you'll be be able to access the the spreadsheet that the Fed published. It's actually an Excel workbook, the seven worksheets within the workbook with various disclosures around these securities. So that's all for now. See you next time.